<laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. Anton Deck. Or, or what were you called before? Busy and Wizzy or something. <laughs> yeah, something else. That was their thing. That was their, They were the original Blazing Squad. They were. You only needed yeah, two back then. We were the original white rappers. Now you have 25 men doing the work that was once handled by just you two. Yeah, you Take that off, though. We don't right. want to do that. Although that last track you played, God, that was, God, that was awful, Andy. That's Ronnie Frame. What are you thinking? Don't come in and start going. Go. I just defended you yeah, by right. saying that you'll have yeah, a go. They are right. You had another track. I said, don't play that. Play something modern and upbeat. What do you put on? Roddy Frame. <laughs> that's a beautiful Thinking about song. committing suicide. It's getting me right in the mood for a Saturday night party television <laughs> show. That it, one, that's it. it. Because, of course, the fellas, Ant and Deck now, of yeah. uh, the newly crowned kings of Saturday night TV. Are they? I believe Are so. We? I'm not so sure oh, anymore. We're on the that verge comment. of becoming. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing much up against you. You know, it's damning you with fair, faint praise anyway, really, because they're on BBC One. What you got, you know, you got old Shrek, Eamon Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, going on there. I would not have a words, bad word said against Stephen Holmes. He's I suspect you won't have a bad word said against anyone. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Whereas you, you're the dark side, I can tell. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, we should point out, Anne's the one with the funny-shaped head, Deck is the one everyone fancies. That's the deal. <laughs> is that the deal? That's clear now. Uh, yeah, OK. I know someone who prefers you, Anne. Do you? Yeah, I know a young woman who's listening now, and she always says, whenever I say that in, in Merth, and you, I'll, I'll be Is honest. she mentally unstable? No, she's a, she's a good-looking girl. Is she? She's ready to go. <laughs> Wicked. Ready to run past all the details. She's got a good sized booty. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in that kind of thing. I am. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. An octopus has been around and he's, he's been feeling away for us. <laughs> 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 he's putting in the work. <laughs> the infantry. Did you, were you familiar with the work of the Blue Ring? Uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't familiar. I'm, wait, what, I'm intrigued though. I think that's a series right there. <laughs> Is it? I'm surprised he hasn't been offered his own ITV show. <laughs> yeah. He's got the back catalogue going on. Hasn't <laughs> he? he fit in well. <laughs> it's the Matthew Kelly extra arm. Let's not, let's not uh, get into that. No, I uh, apologise already. Yeah. Before you phone feedback or whatever. <laughs> um, congratulations on the new show. Thank you. Did you like it? I did like it, but this is the second series of this. It series. is, yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't really catch the first series. Not a lot no, of people did, to be honest. Yeah. yeah, not a lot of people did. Why was that? Was it in the... the it was, it was, no, it no, was, it was out in the summer. summer and it was sort of early evenings and, um, right. you know, people... Just, just didn't catch on. Not a great slot. There's not so many people around and early evenings you tend to be out anyway. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was good for us. It was good we had six weeks in the summer to kind of try some ideas out. Right, OK. Uh, with the intention of coming back for, for, a, for a better a run. A big Christmassy launch. Well, no, no, I mean, I mean this is post-Christmas, but this yeah. is the winter period when, of yeah. course, the big shows are launched. <clears throat> well, so I sat down last week to watch it with my family. I thought, uh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing a kind of communal family experience yes. mm. based around the television mm -hmm. the yeah. sort I remember so fondly. Absolutely. And we sat around around many shows, uh, you know, the Generation Game, mm -hmm. when Bruce Forsyth was at the helm, legendary days. Mm -hmm. OK, anything starting Larry Grayson was always oddly popular. Yes. <laughs> Pogleswood. I don't remember that. Before. No, it was on Saturday nights. <laughs> well, no, but I'm just throwing it in for old times. Just, just, just a curveball. They don't get a mention. But, um, we, so we sat down. We loved it. The good. kids, Thank you. my children, adored it. Oh, really? Good. My eight-year-old was sitting there, and every now and then he kept saying, This is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, he, kept this oh, really? is, he turned to me and said, Dad, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. Even the bits that, let's face it, there were some bits that didn't work last week. And I had to go and go, no, that bit didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's hilarious. We had an argument, had an argument with an age whatever. So. <laughs> Harvey loved it. <laughs> Betty loved it. They said, we have to watch it next week. So wow. it, it's Good. a guaranteed hit with, with feeble minded adults and their children. <laughs> it's that thing. No, it is that thing. You know, we grew up on the same, watching that sort of early evening, Saturday night telly, sat there with your family just after your tea. And there hasn't been been a show like that for a while and that was exactly the audience we wanted you know the whole family sitting around and watching well, it. we're going to sit and watch there's a lot of there were a lot of quite common people from the north of England on the show last week I wondered if <laughs> we could come down south this week I think we, well, we are coming down south this week I mean putting a camera in a northern bingo hall frankly <laughs> the children enjoyed that it that was hilarious <laughs> well I found it a bit unsettling <laughs> and I'll be honest with you when I was trying to get to sleep that night, some of those faces lingered. Because <laughs> you punched up a lot of faces around this bingo. Yeah. Yeah. And a few of them, I thought, okay, prosthetics have been a work there. <laughs> there were a couple of people there, even Leslie Ash was at home going, blimey, what's happened to her? <laughs> the thing is, though, 90% of them didn't have a clue what was going on. 10% ran, got the item, brilliant, let's run home, there's but, money on our doorstep. The rest were like, but I know you I think, paid 15 quid for these bingo cards. So you think those 90% don't know what's going on most of the time? <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. I love a bit of bingo, though. I do. Yeah, do you ever... But I, I, I don't go to bingo halls. No, me But I've played occasionally. It's a good game. It's, all, it's one of those seaside things. I love, I love a game at the seaside. I played it on a cruise. Did you oh, did you? We got quite angry, me and my wife. There was one person kept winning. We got quite angry with her. <laughs> you know, and when you get near the end, I go, but she's going to win. If she wins, I'm going to be really angry. She won, win. she won again. <laughs> you know, you get quite... You take it personally. Yeah. You do too, but, uh, but what I know of the bingo population mm. is they take it very seriously. Oh, God, oh, yeah. Yeah, and well, the, woman, I, I, I let, the woman who won last week, she ran home on the home run and she, you know, she was £3,000 waiting for two fat ladies. Give her the money. Brilliant, what a fantastic... Can I stop you there? <laughs> Not fat enough. <laughs> you no, reckon? I, they weren't fat. They didn't... In my opinion, in my world, in my Veltan shop, yep. they did not qualify as fat ladies. They were just portly ladies. I want a real 
careful. <laughs> I mean, they're out there. We've seen them. Yes, they Let's are. Let's get a couple in. Okay. okay. And ideally, put in some lycra. Get her to bend over with you. <laughs> because then the children find that funny, and the dads, we all know, <laughs> secretly, yeah, you know, that's what you get. It's a great visual. <laughs> and ideally, you two come at the end, treat her like a bouncy car. <laughs> You're not big fellas. You could both fit. <laughs> Choose a cheek, jump on. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Yes, she, she'd won the money. Great, great night. And um, Three thousand pounds. Three, three, three grand. Not bad. Just for running home. That's Just for bad. going home. She gets it. Um, obviously, that's not good enough for her and decides to go back to the bingo to see ah. if she can win the national which started at nine o'clock fantastic good for her and did she do well do you know uh, i don't think she did okay but that's a it was a lovely moment that she actually did because as you said not many people in the bingo hall actually got up no. yeah you're and, right and i sense your disappointment <laughs> at home. But it's a live show and that's what makes a live show yeah. so enticing well to be honest it was it was either one way or the other we were quite happy if nobody ran at all you yeah. know and we just kept going back and she'd sit there but but sort of she was gone. She and two other people. I think I suspect a lot of them don't have full use of their legs. Am I right? <laughs> you know, I get the feeling in that bingo hall, a lot of people there were hoping to maybe pad out their <laughs> disability <laughs> benefit. <laughs> Anyway, that, that wasn't meant to be funny, but, you know, no. if that's what you people at ITV find funny, <laughs> so be it. You guys must be the only guys working on ITV who don't have some sort of terrible secret like <laughs> there. Or, or do we have that to look forward well, to? Well, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you never know, do you? you? You're not wait. old Your enough terrible to have a secret that's been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Should wait and see. Your terrible secret was probably Biker Grove, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and so this the show goes out live from London Weekend TV yeah, here, yeah, here in London town, Studios. I guess. How, how long is the run this series? Ten weeks. Ten weeks. We've, we've done one the last week, so we've got nine. Okay, and have you got it planned out in terms of, you know, these stunts you're doing, like the bingo hall? Do you have one already for each week, or have you got, like, seven and you, you've pretty been hitting much. I mean, Yeah, pretty, I, mean, I think, like, half the series is sort of, we've, we've decided where we're going to hit and stuff yeah. already. And you, you, you do stunts involving makeup and mm. kind of hidden camera stuff as yeah. well, yeah. Which, is, which is always popular when done correctly. Yeah, mm. and especially, especially on Saturday nights, it's yeah. one of those things, you know, growing up again, you talk about all these shows and, and hidden camera stuff and, and tricks on the public, and so yeah. it's always very popular. Because we, we, tri we tried one, uh, we'd done a pilot for one a couple of years ago, and, um... <laughs> No, no one remembers it, which is great. What was it called? Uh, Ant and Dex Hidden Camera Show. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Do you think little... people knew what it was about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe where they didn't watch. But um, <laughs> it, it didn't go too well. And, we, and, and the idea was sort of floated around. And we said, well, let's do it and do it a bit differently. And the idea of prosthetics came up. And to be honest, it's a horrible, horrible process, I'm which sure I hate is. immensely. But the, when it works, it, you know. Because you got made up last week as two Germans. Yes. Okay, which is always, you know. <laughs> I, I imagine it had been a fan the of for some time. <laughs> Is there secret footage? Did you go out and actually do extra stuff just for your fun? No, we didn't. We we, we had fun without the footage. We yeah. kind of walked around the studios uh, <laughs> talking to people. We, we caught the executive producer of SMTV Live, uh, our old Saturday morning show, and, and, and had him for a little while and just had a chat with him and didn't have a clue what was going on. <laughs> well, we did do a couple of them, and then the following week he was telling us that it, there was a really ugly woman in reception with, with one arm, and he went over and was going like, aye, aye, it's the lads, <laughs> it's the lads. <laughs> oh, no, 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 she's just ugly. That's like a scene for a film. Did he start pulling the wig off? Come on. <laughs> Come out, Anne. I know you're in there. <laughs> uh, I think we need to calm down. Yeah. Yes. Because we're getting, you know... Better than yourself, out. I don't want to see the guys crash and burn too early. Today. No. <laughs> they've, got to, they've got to pace themselves. I'm a seasoned broadcaster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had ups, I've had downs, I've been around the block. I know how to pace myself. Yeah. These fellas, you can see already. Yeah. We've excited them. Mm. It's only quarter eleven. They're like kids on Christmas morning. <laughs> Come lunchtime, their sugar level's gonna crash. <laughs> the show tonight won't work. I don't want that to happen. My children are watching. Mm. Let's give them a second. I'm gonna send out for a couple of Mars bars, put a track on. <laughs> <laughs> the White Stripes from one of their uh, earlier albums, De Stil, named after the artist, of course. Okay. But you knew that. No, what are you no. laughing at? I had no idea. Oh, you're so bad as the oyster. No, so lobster. lobster. <laughs> what was it? It was the blue wing. <laughs> doctor, you can't... <laughs> I forgot <laughs> already. Bad as the oyster. <laughs> Dirty oyster. Dirty can I just, oyster. Can I ask you, do you listen when I'm talking about <laughs> no. it? Or, or like the rest of the no. time, do you fade me out? Exactly. I want to know, have you got a blue ring? <laughs> <laughs> That's the level. If you want to tune into ITV this evening, ladies and gentlemen, apparently it's a family show. <laughs> 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 um, so, uh, tonight on the show, uh, and what time again is it on ITV? Ten past seven tonight. Ten past seven, it's a live show. Yeah. Um, tonight you have Kelly Os Osborne Kelly on the show. Kelly Osborne's down tonight. That, and is she performing or...? She's performing live in the studio. What's her new single? <coughs> it's called Shut Up. It's not, apparently it's not so good, is it? It's pretty good, yeah. My, my daughter likes it. She Does likes she? Kelly Osborne a lot, yeah. but I thought she did Papa Don't Preach, but I read some reviews. That's the only reason I'm saying that. I've only heard it once. Right. And it's a, but it's we, okay. sort of, she, we sort of booked her before we heard the material. Well, she's a great booking for <laughs> She's you. a good yeah. booking. Yeah, she's a great booking for yeah. you. She'll be great fun. I'd like to tune in to see her. And the stunt you have this evening, you have a hidden camera somewhere. You were hinting, 
It was down south. It is down south. It's in the southeast. Yes. Okay. Where We're about? in the northeast. I can't say. Oh, why not? No. Because we then say. we'd give it away. Is it somewhere I could go to? <laughs> um, well, y- n- no. Yeah. You could go to, is but I doubt you would. Is it, is it somewhere interactive? Do people participate, or is it like yeah. a... Yes. Well, yes. A, a specialised group of people. Is it a lap dancing group? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> no, of course, silly me, that would be no good for a family show. No, of course. Okay. Is it a hospital? <laughs> no. I think, <laughs> I, I, I think in, in an operating... <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> ...and seeing which one of the surgeons is prepared to give up the yeah. operation and run home. <laughs> yeah. Ideally, still in a bloody smock. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's two fat nurses waiting for you. Yeah. And, and we want them big. We want them big, right. fat nurses. Like Benny Hill in the Italian job, <laughs> I want them large. <laughs> uh, so why... Now, here's uh, a, a curious thing. Why have you guys... You don't really act so much anymore, do you? No. OK, but you were you were good actors, you were credible actors, you, you know, you could pull you on way there. I, you guys should make a movie. Um, well, we're in talks too. We've we've talked to a few people about it, and we'd like to. And we're sort of at the moment developing a, a script. Yeah. Um, a comedy. Yep. Okay. Comedy, and uh, we just—it's one of those things you just got to wait and see. We we don't really want to sort of start touting it around and getting excited by it because you know how long it's it such takes. It's a long process, isn't it? But you know, filming. We're only just developing it because there's an S Club Seven movie coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I'm well, looking forward to that works. with undue excitement. <laughs> <laughs> that it will be hilarious. The thing is, you know, you're going to have to go and see it anyway, though, aren't you? That's the depressing thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, but I think genuinely, I would, I would welcome seeing you guys in a movie. Of course, oh, but it's, it's so hard to get right at yeah, it, yeah, isn't exactly, it? And that's yeah. the and that's the, the challenge. But in the meantime, you're pretty busy, just generally TV wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, celebrity, get me out of here. Whatever that was, the sort of survivor thing in the mm. jungle in the desert mm. with Tony Blackburn. People know what I'm talking about now, <laughs> yes. I hope. That was a huge success for you. Yeah, it was massive. Now, that, when you that, was weird, that was weird because we were sort of stuck out in Australia and you never know if they're going to work and stuff and we were, we really were away from everything and we we weren't involved in any of the the press of the show or we didn't know, you know, how figures were going and stuff like that. So we just sort of got on with it and there was no pressure and, and it was quite an enjo- re- a really enjoyable process. Quite a nice way to work then, presumably. Yeah. That was <clears throat> and you're working through the night as well so yeah. we'd get up at kind of midnight get into the camp for about 2 a.m., do all the voiceovers, right. read the script. Um, midnight, and that's midnight our time here in England. No, but... midnight Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. I see. So that yeah. must have been quite tough. Yeah, so we'd be on air kind of 9 o'clock over here, right. which was 6 a.m. over there. Already I'm confused. Too many <laughs> figures. I can't, you know, time zones confuse me. I'm getting old and, so, you know. But the thing is, it was like a roller coaster for 14 days and it was just, you know, it was just like doing night shift every night and then, then you come off and then you come home and everybody thinks we'd done it at blue screen down at London Studios, yeah. so... like Capricorn What was one. the point? <laughs> but were, were there moments where you just thought all of these people deserve to be left here? Because yes. as a viewer, I felt that way occasionally. Yeah. It, was, it really didn't... None of them came out of it particularly well all the way through. No. I thought, no, to be honest, I thought Tara came out well purely because she, she changed the perception, the whole of, yeah, you know, Britain had of her. Yeah. And uh, she's you know, really likeable and, and funny and, and clever. And uh, I just think people thought she was, you know, a posh shopper who, yeah. who didn't do anything. And, uh, a posh shopper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, you know, that's not the case. And she's funny and, yeah. and, and everybody sort of liked her. She's and, very sweet and uh, yeah. Yeah, the good heart sort of thing. Um, Uri Geller. <laughs> yeah. See, I loved Uri. I thought he was fantastic. He was slimy. <laughs> <laughs> but I quite like that. Slime. <laughs> I thought it was he was hilarious. He makes the blue octopus look <laughs> decent and kind of above moral with quotes. <laughs> he does have, I believe, an extra limb just for groping. <laughs> he was saw it, but he was moving leeches from the tower. Yeah. He was, uh, he, you know, that was a strange... It was. It was, but it was. I mean, we'd get in at midnight, we'd look at, you know, there, there was a big plasma screen in the canteen, so we could watch them, and, and Tony Blackburn would never sleep. Never saw the man sleeping. <laughs> he'd always be putting logs on the fire. And uh, we'd, watch the, we'd watch what they'd done the, the day before and during the night and stuff and just I would just sit there and really laugh at Uri and we've been put more Uri in it's just he, he really oh, was yeah. hilarious but unintentionally so I believe yeah, yeah. Uh, what was the deal now Tony Blackburn a lovely lovely mm. man I mean a really <laughs> sweet bloke once again the d- did you never feel like just going in and just putting that little bit of hair at the back that kicks out <laughs> you know it's like a kickstand on a moped and I, he c- obviously couldn't see around the back and I think just out of kindness just put a little bit of prick stick on it just hold it down while he was asleep because that was you know. He was very proud of his appearance, Tony, and he, 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 took, he took a lot of time <laughs> over it. He, he, he did, he took a lot I love the fact you delivered most of that with a completely straight face. <laughs> <laughs> it was only the hint of a twinkly smile at the end. <laughs> um, well, we're all proud of our appearance, really, aren't we? You know, yeah. it, you know, against the odds, most of us find something to look at and say, yeah, that bit's not so bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try and enhance the ankle today. <laughs> um, so what preparation do you do? You film during the day now for the show. Well, we do, we do a, a, a hilarious pre 
titles uh, sketch with our star guests, so we right. do we record that around lunchtime. Which is you done for many years. I mean, all your Saturday morning TV show, you always did sketches. Yeah, and that yeah, kind of right. yeah. And so tonight it'll be you and Kelly Osborne. It'll be us and Kelly Osborne. Who else is on the show tonight? Uh, we've got uh, Andy Wyman, who plays Kirk in Coronation Street. I've never heard of him. He's uh, he was in the Royal Family as well. He was, uh, never heard of him. No, him. no. Um, he's he's, he, a, he's a human dart. He's we're playing human darts with him tonight. So he must be. He was like in the, he was a background artist in those shows you mentioned. No, no, no. <laughs> he's, 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 he's very thin. thin. See, show two. They're already. <laughs> did, there's a distinct Kirk from Kirk sound Street. of uh, bowels being scraped <laughs> over at the Ad and Deck show. On the, okay, and anyone else we might uh, have heard of? Who else is on tonight? Then, any actual top that. name guests? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, you've got the daughter of someone famous. You've got a bloke no one knows from Coronation Street. <laughs> is there someone? I'm trying to help the show here for you. <laughs> is there uh, someone you know who we think? Oh, I know that person. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but some surgeons but leaving the heart patient yes. to get home to win a meagre cash prize. And yes. if that isn't good enough for you sitting up viewing, I don't know what is. Absolutely. In the words of my eight-year-old, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that really is like a TV executive thing to do with the green room, though, isn't it? After it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> Official. It's hilarious. I want another three. <laughs> yeah. Um, but your TV career is just going great guns, isn't it? It is Aye, at the moment, touch brilliant. wood. I mean, you've been, because you've had many years kind of, you know, at the top or near the top. And now, really, I guess you are, if only by default that everyone else is in jail, yeah. you must be like <laughs> ITV's big biggest stars, <laughs> either in jail or on the one, I believe. What a way to make it. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'd have a safe house that all you ITV guys could go to after night? It's okay, you're all right. You get a night's sleep, the police don't know where you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's what kills most ITV shows. The presenters can't sleep from the night before for fear of the knock of the door. <laughs> and the heavy hand on the shoulder, <laughs> led away in a Kafka-esque fashion. That's, um, that's a great track, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, isn't that, it's got a kind of all 70s feel to it. That's a, a Ray Davis song. Who's performing that there? Steve Forbert. It's and it's Songs of Ray Davis and the Kinks. That's album. a good album. Uh, we've got Ant and both Ant and Deck with us. Um, they're going to rush off in a minute because they're getting ready for their ITV show tonight. But also, is this on ITV, this thing as well? Here? Yeah, Ng yes. Benji. There's a new kid show uh, for the very young, I guess. This Pre-school, is for like yeah. preschoolers yeah. called Ng Benji, uh, which is about a little uh, yellow faced uh, <laughs> jaundiced chap who <laughs> has a car. He's very <laughs> good. Like, not, not is there more to it than that? Or <laughs> I summed it up. He, I, uh, he, can, he, he fixes engines. Okay, he wants to fix his skin colour. Like <laughs> He's clearly heavily jaundiced, yes. possibly scurvy. I, I recommend more fruit. <laughs> um, and in NG Benji. Uh, is Engie the name of the... Is his name actually Engie Benji? He's, he's, yeah, Engie Benji. Okay. Well, Engie Benji is the star of the show, and Deck is the voice behind the star yeah, of the show. Yeah, that's okay. right. Now, Anthony shows, well, you're voicing the dog, I know. Yes. Jollop, Jollop the dog. Okay. Jollop? Now, you know, I'm not one to give out advice without <laughs> first being asked, but you might want to think about, you know, getting a separate agent from Deck, <laughs> because it strikes me clearly there's favouritism at work here. But, but then again, you know, if you look at it on the other side, we get paid the same, I do less work. You're, you're, you're a glasses half full kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're saying. I'm the dog. Okay, I'm the dog, but yeah. I'm getting paid the same yeah. for just barking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just barking, though. It's quite an art to mm. be able to do the It's dog. quite an art to. Because to, 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 you see, you can't <laughs> speak, but you've got to express words. But the kids words, have to understand what you're saying. But you can't quite speak. So can you do a bit? Of that? Wow. That's a wow. Now, I didn't like say a wow. Or something. <laughs> see? It's not <laughs> even a dog. I haven't done it for a while. Well, can. Okay. Okay, if you're listening at home, okay. <laughs> This is Anne, who we've now, I think, and I don't want to be unkind, but we've clearly marked out as the less talented. <laughs> he doesn't get the lead role so much anymore. Okay, and he's playing the dog. Now, you see, before he said we're really good, credible actors. Well, you are, you're great, but now I, I, I'm just I, I, thinking... I've blown it now with this dog. <laughs> well, you know, you're... Jollop. <laughs> Jollop. Does he bark at all, or...? Yeah, he right, does give, bark. Give us a bark. <laughs> Oh, that's not so bad. See? He's high pitched. Oh. He's, he's, he's a happy go lucky dog. Anyway, Deck, things are going great for you <laughs> right now, I'm I understand. Um, yeah. Now, you guys, are you both married? No. No, we're both single. You're both single, but you're both with partners? Yes. yes. Okay. That must depress you sometimes. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, you know, it's all out there for you, and you've, you've hitched your wagon to someone already, you young <laughs> fellas. You know, if, well, if, can we learn nothing from the octopuses of the world? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be out there, you know? But they're great. We've been with Sampling. the girls. We've been with the girls for, for for years and years since we were kind of in bite the growth. Let's be honest. If you haven't married by now, you're not going to. And I think you owe it to them <laughs> to just cut them loose. Oh shut up! Well, man. how long have you been with them for? Hey, I've been with Lisa for eight years. Well, and you haven't married her, so cut her loose. <laughs> no. <laughs> do, do yourselves a favour, both of you. You've been with eight years. You haven't married her. It's not going to happen now. <laughs> and she's she's thinking, okay, uh, you know, he's still quite cute on a certain <laughs> lines, but he's playing a dog. It's yeah. not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, I got the wrong one. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. <laughs> if only I'd plump Look, we'll, we'll go to the news. Have a think about it. If you 
you want to tell them on the show, that's fine with me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because they might be listening. We'll get a message to them, and then just think, this evening when you do the show, think of the extra spring in your step. <laughs> You'll be looking at that crowd saying, I could go on with one of them. <laughs> well, you could do anyway, but with no repercussions. <laughs> hey, the H91 FM, this is Radio 2 from the BBC. That's Joe Jackson. Yeah. I mean, is that his new album? It's a new album, but it's, uh, he's back with the band that he was with in 1978. Well, well, you know, when his stuff first came out, Joe Jackson, I didn't like him initially because I thought he was imitating Elvis Costello. Oh, yeah. And fairly, you remember that track, uh, Don't You Know That It's Different For Girls? And yeah. He's doing the voice and he's, he's made himself look weird, and, but of course now he's, he's blossomed mm. into a genuine talent. Of course, it's nice to see him back. Are you fans of Joe Jackson? Not, not majorly, no. I should not. How, how old are you guys? <laughs> you're you're, you're youngsters. 27. Are you? You're 27. Both you're 27. both 27 years mm -hmm. old. Okay. Mm -hmm. you're not, but you're not actually related or anything. No, no. You weren't no. separated in some way? There wasn't no. a surgical procedure we need to know about. <laughs> no. That's not a bad idea for the film you guys should make. What? Your, your twins, that... Siamese twins, mm. joined for the entire film. That's quite similar to a film offer someone did. No. Actually, for real? Yes. Yeah. Not well, a good Needless to say, we turned it down. Yeah, right? but I, you know, <clears> but I think it'll be great. Do I you? think it could be a tremendous, tremendous step forward. For There's me. a height difference with us, though. <laughs> it could There's be. There's no height. There is a height difference. How much? Who's the tallest? Me. Obviously, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't have raised it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're like a centimetre taller. How much? Is, would you mind I'm standing up, please? I'm six, look, look, six look. two. I'm, okay. I'm five yeah. eleven. You're actually, no, you're about six, six, and you're quite an impressive figure. I'm Have you considered six, a career professional eight. basketball? <laughs> five eight, and you're what, about five four? Five six. You're wearing shoe lifts. <laughs> yeah. Five six and a half. You're about five four. Five, There's six. no shame to being a short man. It's a five six and a half. And you've managed to avoid that short man anger. <laughs> well. Wow. You're not, but actually, you know, you, but you, it's all going on. You've got quite good physiques for smaller people. <laughs> Dave, you, look, you look a bit like um, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised. Does he not end? Well, we when we when we re released in, like Let's Get Ready Rumble and stuff, we used to tour Japan. That's all they ever used to say. You could hear them, <laughs> hear them talk. You could hear them talk in Japanese. Oh, much much yeah. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and this has haunted you. <laughs> no, not haunted me, but I just don't see it. I don't. I don't see it. I don't. Who see do you it. think you look like? Rona Pitt. Cameron. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Rona <laughs> Cameron. She was good on the show last week. She was, she was a very good spawn. She's yeah. a lovely person. Yeah. It was nice to see you on. Um, I've kind of run out of things to say to you, really. Right. <laughs> Anything you want to throw in now? Or? No. I, no, I'm quite happy. Tap my seven tonight. I know you'll be watching you with watch the kids. It, yeah. I'm watching. It Anything will be hilarious again. While well, we got them well. here, there must have been something we wanted to ask them. Well. Recording contract? Are they going to no, carry no, on not singing? Not. No, that's that's dead. Oh, is it? <laughs> that's clearly that is dead. Your music career is presumably just dead. Reassurance. Well, it's probably gone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not coming it. back. You're too old for that now. Yeah. Aren't we did release the World Cup single. Last you weren't a genuine talent. Um, but no, but the, <laughs> no, the World Cup single. That did that do well? Did it? Yeah, it, it did. Okay. Number three. What was the tune again? I, it well, was on three the ball. lions on. <laughs> on the that one? One. That's the one everyone remembers. Yeah. Yeah. On the on the ball on the ball. <laughs> that was that was that was the one where uh, during the World Cup and, and you know we we're doing well and we won a match and stuff. And we had yes, they, they're going to play our song and cut it <laughs> cut it to highlights and montages of all the goals going in. Three lions <laughs> on. Oh, oh great. We really haven't. Made because, but that was the big hit, really. That was the one people yeah. remember, yeah, despite the was. fact that David Baddiel has no voice to speak of. <laughs> Frank <laughs> sings like an elderly spinster. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the fact that Frank really thinks he can sing as well. Frank, Frank, uh, now this is, I, I know, because Frank knocked your single. This is you getting revenge now. You're trying to. No, I'm not yet, bothered. So. No, he, he, he'll say, you know, he sings on the show. And yeah, he does sing on the show, and <laughs> let's face it, we all wish he wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done now is I've set my recorder just for like two minutes in, so I miss fun time, Frankie. Because <laughs> I love the show, just don't want that song spoiling for me. <laughs> if he's listening now, he's. Probably quite angry. <laughs> I'll phone him on the way home. Uh, but fellas, it's been very, very pleasurable having no, you in. I, you know, yeah, genuinely, I do really like seeing you on TV. There's a relaxed uh, chemistry between the two of you, which is unusual amongst straight men, and I think most of us <laughs> at home respond to that very, very well. Good. Keep up that. Please, you know, try and avoid the law. <laughs> we will, we will if you can. Yeah. It's depressing enough as it is. Every day we pick up the papers, we don't know who we're going to see on the phone. I don't want to see you guys. No. Okay? No, you're right. And I'd like you to return the compliment to me now. Before <laughs> <laughs> we know it's too late, John. Uh, <laughs> it's only a matter of time before they swoop. <laughs> Look, I, you know, I don't know who's been using my credit cards, OK? <laughs> you know, I cannot be accountable for every little item on the bill, yeah. as I tell my wife every time she looks at it. <laughs> Those lap dancing nights aren't mine. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's been great having you on. Good luck with the show tonight. Thank you and and you. for the rest of the run, it is really good fun. I'll be watching my children, and uh, right. I can't wait to see the new series of Celebrity Get Me in the Out of the Jungle. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you want to work on that title. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Cheers. Pleasure. Thank you.